I'm in Newburgh, Indiana at UVet, and of course this is Dr. Katherine Turpin. And today we're going to talk about a topic that I, I don't know that we've really covered much over the years we've all been yeah. together, and that's cancer in our pets. So who do we have here? This is Book. Hey, Book. Hi, bud. So uh, Book is a cancer survivor at this point. Um, he, about a little less than a year ago in June, July, um, we figured out that some respiratory signs he'd been having that were presenting more like allergies and things like that were due to a tumor in his sinuses that had actually extended into his brain. Um, so once you discovered that, what were the next steps? Well, um, when we first discovered it, it was uh, because his eyes started bulging and he started having neurologic signs. Mm -hmm. And we are lucky enough in this area that we've got a wonderful ophthalmologist out at East Pines who got him in um, and, and was able to see that the back of his eye was bulging, which meant there was either a granuloma or a tumor. And so while we were waiting, um, on those diagnostics to come back because he was very sick. Like he was running a fever. He was, you know, this is a dog that's scared to lay down and he was just laying on the floor, right. not really responsive. Um, and, and so while we were trying to figure out what exactly was going on with him, um, we took him down and started Chinese medicine because Chinese medicine is one of these amazing things where you don't have to know your Western diagnosis to be able to make a difference. Um, so we took him down there to at least do something for him while we were waiting on diagnostic tests. And so what, what are we talking about? Acupuncture? Acupuncture okay. and Chinese herbals and we also did food therapy for him. Um, so home cooked diet, specifically chosen ingredients to help his body fight. Um, while we were there, we got some of the results back that confirmed it had to be a tumor. Um, and so they were able to help us get him started on things so that at least until we could get treatment, we were doing something to help slow progression, help his body fight, right? So he's doing very, very well, obviously. Mm -hmm. So we see this white mark on his face, and that's part of the, what, chemo? So that was actually radiation. Radiation, So right. um, we, we have the amazing benefit of, you know, about three and a half hours away is the University of Illinois, and they are able to do radiation oncology in animals. Um, and so they got him in, and they did some CT images, and those CT images told them where the tumor was, um, and then they were able to use their amazing uh, radiation machine to block. So if you look at his beautiful face, you can see where the radiation was blocked because his hair remained this beautiful beautiful brown color and uh, where there was more intense radiation you have all of this solid white so it was in his sinuses around this eye and into his brain but where the plates in the radiation machine blocked he stayed brown and you can see here where he's got these small little patches that have started to turn white where the radiation was less so they graduated the radiation out um, and, and blocked lesser amounts to kill tumor at different rates based on what was gonna be most effective for the tumor. Um, but you can see that they were able to block radiation to all of this and only hit the area where that tumor was. And so we did six weeks of radiation once a week. Um, and at the end, when they did his CT images, um, the tumor was gone everywhere except in one portion of his brain. So it had extended from his sinuses down in here into and behind around this eye and then into his brain. It is no longer around his eye. Amazing. It is Amazing. no longer in his sinuses. Um, and, and, and really when they talked to me about his case, they said, we can't guarantee he's gonna respond to radiation. But they, they were open to trying to do a combined approach using Western and Eastern medicine. So doing Chinese medicine and radiation. Well, you can tell it's successful and you have your doggy. I do, you have I, your I have my dog and he acts like nothing has changed. Well, you'll never forget it, that's for no, sure. No, but I won't. Great to know that this combo treatment is really powerful and effective. Thank you, Dr. Mm -hmm. Turpin. Thank you, Book. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. this